Hey everyone, so I actually had started recording the reading and had to stop because I had to tend to my little Toby boy, my little fur baby. Um, so uh, we're just going to start over where I left off. Uh, I am going to go ahead and like reconnect. Those of you who are interested in a personal private reading, please feel free to reach out to me. And those of you who don't know me, hi, my name is Winter and I have certain uh, gifts and abilities as well as um, knowledge that I use of the cards to channel messages from spirit for you. So I'm just going to go ahead and reconnect to my spirit team. Thank you, Divine Source Energy, Divine Holy Spirit. Thank you, Angels, Archangels, Ascendant Masters, Ancestors, Spirit Guides, Galactic Ancestors, and Higher Light Beings. For the good of all and to the harm of none, I call upon you now and invite you here into this space to help me grasp messages and answers that need to be delivered. I thank you for guiding, blessing, and protecting this reading as well as myself and the collective of souls that find their way here. I thank you for honest, accurate, trustworthy answers and messages from the divine that are only of the highest good and to the harm of none. With peace, love, light, and gratitude, so it is. Namaste. Okay, you guys, I'm so, so sorry. I do need to take a quick second to grab a cough drop again. <clears throat> and so um, when I was starting out with the video, I wish there was some way like I could put the two together, but I don't know how to do that. Um, so um, anyways, um, I was picking up in the first video that I had started for you guys that someone uh, really needed to know that they were safe, that they were protected. And um, and we were talking about the first card we got here, you're stepping into your higher, highest divine life path. And then there's um, more to know than what you currently know. And so what I was picking up on from, from those cards is that it's, and this message isn't about, oh, there's secrets and lies. There's things being hidden that you need to know about. <coughs> Excuse me. However, I do feel like, you know, those things could still be true. However, this particular message is that there is more, there's things that are unfolding that you haven't gotten the answers to yet. Things have not uh, completely unfolded yet for you. You're still waiting uh, for an answer. You're waiting for a decision. You're waiting for information. You're waiting to find out like what's going to happen. Uh, and spirit is just basically telling you right now to just trust um, and that you are uh, you found your way here. You are um, really stepping up um, to the to the place that you were always meant to be. And um, it doesn't matter how old you are. It doesn't matter how young you are. Um, how old you are. It just. <clears throat> oh my gosh! I'm so sorry. Something does not. Or someone does not want you to get this message because it's been really difficult for me to get this message out for you guys. Um, look, you're creating a you that you will be proud of. And then we've got spend more time uh, on your spiritual growth. You guys are um, really, you are, you're creating a you that you are going to be proud of. You're creating a you that your younger self is going to be so proud of you're going to be in a place in your life that you never thought that you would actually be and <clears throat> this this can be like literally in any area i mean like this could be your finances and things like that but it feels deeper than that it's it's a um a person that you can look at in the mirror every morning and feel good about it's that it's a, that energy where you know how sometimes like um, when you've gone out drinking or whatever and you wake up the next day and you're totally embarrassed about how you acted before <clears throat> the night before. I'm so sorry about all the coughing, you guys. But um, you you ever experienced that? 
well imagine experiencing that but never have drank you know like you've um you've acted a certain way or said a certain thing and you later you're like you look back on it and you're embarrassed that you could have acted that way or you're embarrassed that you could have said that there is no more of that you're gonna wake up in the morning and you're gonna be proud of yourself for what you said the day before how you reacted the day before how you how far you've come in life and 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 yes I do feel like it's with regards to you know your career your finances the material things that you're able to accomplish but it's the that spiritual and that's what matters that's what counts that's what you take with you this other material stuff that's that's written into the matrix that's codes that's all that is the energy that you're creating <clears throat> the love that you're spreading the emotional uh, and spiritual growth that you're creating that is what is real and there's so much more to be to that is to come is what I feel I'm hearing the best is yet to come Thank you, Spirit. What other messages do they need to hear? And this, my I tell you, every time I get started on a video, my dogs start vomiting. This one, it's a this time it's a completely different one. They have not, and they vomit all the time. It's just what they do. Like, they just do it. But this is a completely different one this time. Somebody does not want you to get this reading. Like, someone does not want you to hear this. There's an energy. There are forces that are trying to stop you from getting this message. Look, a powerful change will transform your life. Abby. Oh. Baby. Uh, hold on just a second, you guys. I'll be right there. <clears throat> Come here, baby. Come here. Go ahead. Go in there, Craig. There you go. Good girl okay so sorry about that you guys she's fine I promise you she is they do it all the time um a powerful change will transform your life don't let yourself get distracted right now there are distractions there <clears throat> that could be thrown in your in your um, path okay but they're telling you to rise above I, these could I'm I'm hearing someone having intrusive thoughts um and you could be you know feeling like you're taking two steps forward and three steps back type of energy but they're saying to keep pushing forward look the wheel will turn in your favor keep going <clears throat> so my battery look and then just now my battery uh, started going dead and so then the screen just went foggy because you know where it, like when you're recording and then everything goes blurry and it's like your battery only has 20 percent charge so i don't know if you guys were able to see that or not but the wheel will turn in your favor keep going and that's exactly what i'm saying like things are about to like the this could be a test like your commitment to something is a test right now and they're telling you to keep pushing forward you <clears throat> don't even realize the amazing things like i keep wanting to cough um the dogs keep puking the camera's dying and it's like that's that energy here guys that's that energy in in your re in your lives as you are about to achieve something amazing here you're about to achieve something great and and so all of these distractions being thrown at you all of these different you know mishaps people um you know those types of things are happening because you're headed for greatness you're headed for some huge profound change in your life and you will never look the same again you will never um think the same way again you're gonna and it's like it's almost like you just get it you get it now you understand life you understand something now <clears throat> thank you spirit what other messages do you have for the beautiful souls that are watching okay see this is what i'm talking about and then there's three cards here um 
You guys, this card actually showed itself in the first video that I was making. You won't always feel alone. You're attracting your soul tribe. You are attracting um, those like-minded individuals. You are going to meet with your soul family. These people that you incarnate with each life, each each lifetime. And so if you have felt alone, if you have felt as though nobody cared, if you have felt like your family had abandoned you, you guys, it is going to be no more of that. There's a change here in your life that's leading you to people that are actually part of your, your soul family. You may even feel as though you've always known them when you first meet these people. The card that was on top is uh, life will be a roller coaster. Enjoy the ride and stop trying to be in control. <clears throat> that spirit saying to just kind of let go right now. You know, just don't try to control it. Let things unfold naturally. There is so much more that's going to happen for you. And so like, don't kind of stress out about it. Don't overthink it. Just just be like, okay, you know what, universe? I give up. I, I trust you. I know that you have got my highest good. Um, uh, at play here and I know that I am being led to my divine uh, highest life path and then we have uh, don't spend too much time in despair move through emotions and release it because you are headed to um, this amazing place in your life you know, you are headed towards this pr powerful, profound change. And so they don't want you to feel the a sense of hopelessness. They don't want you to feel this sense of despair. But they want you to understand, to truly get it, that no matter what, you are okay. And as you do kind of really release this control, as you kind of work through those emotions, process them, feel them, <clears throat> what you're going through is just data you're just receiving data and processing that data and some of you have already come through so many amazing things give yourself credit for how far you've come your spirit guides really do want you to look back at your life and look at everything that you've overcome you have overcome every single one of your challenges in life <clears throat> think about that as far as everything that you've ever been through in your life, you're still here. You've made it through 100% of those worst days. Those days that left you feeling paralyzed on the floor. Thinking that nobody cared. Ooh, those of you who have faced addictions, abuse. You made it through every single one of those bad times. And you're here fighting because you're a fighter. So give yourself credit for how far you've come. Somebody here is watching has had a substantial weight loss and you still have a little ways to go. And Spirit's like, look how, look how much you've lost. <clears throat> look how far you've come. Are you kidding me? Celebrate yourself and how far you've come. Everything that you've overcome. Because your life is about to transform even more you're about to see victories that you never thought that would ever happen for you because you're hungry you stayed hungry and now the people are outside yelling and screaming and carrying on at each other because we're supposed to be in this world as a light, as a beacon. And that's what you are here for. You are going to inspire so many other people. They're, yeah, just following your heart right now. And then look, it's okay to not have all the answers. They will come to you when you need them. Just follow your heart. Follow your heart. It doesn't matter if you have all the answers right now. It doesn't matter if you've uh, gotten the information back that you needed or that you've been waiting for. They're just telling you to to just continue following your heart and that and to just keep taking those steps and know that as you walk, it's like those steps will appear. 
those that information will appear. New chapters of you require new versions of you. And so you are transforming from the inside out. So I had a deck that I was going to had a deck of cards out that I was going to use. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Divine Holy Spirit, angels, archangels, ascendant masters, ancestors, spirit guides, higher light beings. Please come here. This reading show me clearly what I need to see what messages do you have for the collective <laughs> okay so they're telling me to save this for the uh, the last part so that's what we're gonna do we're gonna save that for the end what messages do you need for the collective at this time spirit Divine Holy Spirit, angels, archangels, ascended masters, ancestors, spirit guides, higher light beings. Some of you can feel it. Like you just know it. You just know that something amazing is, is, is happening. You just feel it. And, and it's like, I can see that someone watching, you knew that even as a child, that you were meant for something big. Thank you. What messages do you have for the collective spirit? Okay, so we have South Node. This is comfort zone. This is um, right now. Um, you could still be <clears throat> kind of clinging to the past a bit, clinging to a past person, a past belief system. There is still a bit of a resistance here still kind of lingering in in a bit of that comfort zone okay and and a, oh we got a storm coming okay so you still could be um you know really needing to release something here surrender let go of a certain thought look and then we've got change having the courage to make the changes that need to 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 that need to happen the courage to leave a particular person the the courage to to really step out in faith here and step out of that comfort zone right now whether or not this is actual physically like physically pack your ish and and leave progress moving this 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 person here had the courage to step out of their comfort zone and leave. And this could actually represent like you, look, she's got, um, or they've got minimal luggage, okay? This person here has got minimal luggage. So they're not carrying, you know, their life, their past um, luggage with them. They're just taking what they need, okay? So it's like you just take, what you need with you right now some of you like i am getting to that you actually do need to like get rid of like material things like you've got too much stuff and um spirit is telling you to live simplistically and you don't need that much stuff so maybe like donate the donate the stuff that you have throw things out that that you know are not um that don't work, don't fit, you know, if it don't fit, don't throw it away, donate it. But yeah, like really donate what you can, go to a homeless shelter, donate things, get rid of things, um, and start over. Even if that means like in the same home. Um, but a lot of this is like, <clears throat> this could be like actual relocating. 
the courage to leave a particular person, the courage to leave home for some of you that are still living at home with your um, parents or family members, the, the courage to like leave home and like step out in faith and know that the universe is going to be there to provide and take care of you because you're in this stuffy, stagnant um, uh, uh, energy where you're currently at, whether or not this is mentally, emotionally, physically. Some of you, this is regarding a career, but you're meant to progress. You're not meant to be to stay in the same place. Spirit is, is like, it, it's time to kind of shake things up and to have that courage and to progress and move forward. Some of you, this is actually step out and communicate to a particular person or, um, um, you know, share how you're feeling with, with people around you or someone around you. Some of you I'm actually seeing though, Spirit is showing me that, and this is for a select few of you, that you have a person that um, really wants to communicate and tell you everything that's on their mind, but they're afraid to. They're afraid to communicate with you. But look, we've got doubts and then we've got trust right up underneath of that. We've got the trust card and the doubts. So spirit is saying right now is the time. And it's crazy too, because it's like dark and um, stormy and in this uh, picture and it's dark and stormy outside right now. So I feel like some of you could be, um, you know, feeling also this doubts card. This can represent the four of cups too, but you could be, you know, fearing, um, um, being told no. You could be fearing uh, losing out on an opportunity. You know, you could be um, feeling um, or having like these negative thoughts that pop up in your mind. I'm seeing someone, it's like your heart really wants to just, just go. Okay, whether or not that's physically or mentally or emotionally, but your heart like really wants to take that leap. But then your mind says, well, you can't get this. You you don't deserve that. This person doesn't care about you. They don't care about you. It's like that um, uh, spirit. Now it just played. They're all going to laugh at you in my head. You know that movie Carrie from the 70s? Um, and the mother was like telling the girl, they're all going to laugh at you. And then her mother actually got into her head. Um, and then she went on that rampage, <laughs> but, um, so this is like spirit is like release those doubts. Okay. Um, one, when those look, don't spend too much time in despair. Don't spend too much time in doubt and despair, release it. And then trust that there are forces that are greater than this physical 3d reality that is working everything for your highest good because you're meant to progress. You're not meant to stay in the same place. And I'm not talking about physically, although some of you this is physically, but you're meant to expand, to grow. Is she in a boat? Oh no, she's sitting on a dock. Like your, your challenges are not greater than you are. Your fears are not greater than you are. So it's time to um, release the fear, the fear of the new, the fear of um, being alone, the fear of um, uh, making a bad choice. And just step out in faith. They're saying, they're saying, just try me, just try us, just try us, trust, just test it. And testing isn't, okay, well, let me just trust, but at the same time, still holding on to that doubt. It is trust, it is trying by completely removing that doubt, releasing that doubt and trusting. Just do that and don't say, okay, well, I'll try for a little bit, but then still holding on to that doubt. It doesn't work that way. You can't have one foot in and one foot out. So trust and try it. What's coming towards them, spirit? 
what's coming towards them, the viewer that's watching spirit, the one that this is resonating for. Epiphany. Epiphany. That's you're just going to get it. You're going to have that breakthrough, that realization, and you're just gonna, you're you're like you're you're woke. You're the energy shift. You're like, oh my God, like I see it now. I see the light. I get it. I understand it now. I didn't understand it before, but I'm awake now. I'm awake now. I remember. I get it now. And that's why your life changes in the most amazing way. You get it. You will be awake you will have the, your wake up call. Your, you will feel that the energy shift. And it says energy shift right here on this card. A powerful change will transform your life. As you release the despair, as you release those emotions, and you let go of the doubt, and you trust, you will have the epiphany. I got goosebumps. They, all, they went straight up the side of my face which is unusual. Usually I get them on my arms, but I got a little bit. Yeah, look, can you guys see the hair on my arm standing up? My, never mind all the freckles. But you get it. You will get it. Sudden realizations, the answers to all of your life questions. Can we get some cosmic love messages, spirit? Can we get some cosmic love messages for those that are here resonating with this reading? What can you show the collective that are here? Okay, <clears throat> detox your life. <laughs> that means negativity in all forms, food, jobs, and yes, players posing as life partners. Clean up. This is spirit saying, don't spend too much time in despair. It's time to detox your life. Detox, getting out of your comfort zone, releasing the players, the, the, the foods, the jobs, the people that aren't any good for you. Those people that tell you just what you want to hear. To detox your life of everything. You know, the, the negative and the positive can't, like, it's like they can't. I don't know what I was going to say with that. What other messages do you have, Spirit? Sometimes good things fall apart so better things can fall together. Nothing is going wrong in the crystal ball there. So this is Spirit saying sometimes things that you really wanted falls apart. Even if right now your, your life does seem pretty good. Even if right now it's like, well, it's not that bad. It's actually pretty good. Well, it could be better. It could be even better. And so if things are falling apart, it's so that something better can come along. Some of you have had to beg people to be in your life. You've had to beg lovers to not leave you. You've had to beg parents to see you. You've had to beg people to see you, to see your heart, to see how much you love. And if something is meant for you, you don't have to beg for it. You're going into a place in your life where you are going to be able to give yourself <clears throat> the love that you begged for. And as you do, you're going to align more people that are going to see your worth, your soul tribe, that are going to see your heart, that are going to see the love that you have. <sighs> Okay. 
So some of you need to, it says, think twice before you fall for it. Not everyone deserves your energy. Okay, so yeah, not everyone deserves your energy. The, this comfort zone here, you, the people that you've had to beg, the families that, the family members that you've had to beg, people will, when, and when they see you trying to, um, uh, to leave, when people see you start to own your power, then they're going to tell you or say whatever they need to say to, to, to keep you distracted, to keep you in your comfort zone. And that's why you got this right here. Not everyone deserves your energy. So think about it and realize, okay, that's not for me. And you don't have to be nice to everyone. You don't have to be nice to everyone. You don't have to give to everyone because you have a giving heart, because you have a forgiving heart, because you have a loving heart. You you feel like, you know, people deserve that they, they, you should give to people, but you don't have to. Not everyone deserves your energy. Not everyone deserves your kindness. And we have... A soulmate doesn't complete you. They inspire you to complete yourself, inspire change in the crystal ball. And so that's it. That's what I was saying. Like you are going to be an inspiration. You're going to be an inspiration to yourself and to others. If someone also, if someone is not responding you, like if you've tried to reach out to someone, not responding to you is the same as a no. So don't wait around for someone. That is ghosting. When when some when you when you message someone or reach out to someone or communicate to them and they don't respond to you, that's a no from them, and that that's their answer. So don't. That's the same as being ghosted. Some of you, it's like when your life starts to fall apart, that's when people start to ghost you. That's when people leave your life and you don't have to beg people to stay in your life. You shouldn't have to beg people to care about you and to, to check on you, to love you, to be there for you. They're either your ride or die or they're not. And if they don't, <clears throat> if they are not responding to you, that's your answer. And I don't know why Spirit gave me that, but I, I did receive that message for you guys. Okay, so one more deck and then I will uh, let you guys go. It is hot too, so I need to go cut my fan on. And I can't cut it on while I'm recording because then all you guys hear is the fan. I'm searching for a real love. Look, soul tribe, you guys are definitely meeting your soul tribe. You guys are definitely meeting like a, um, some of you who are like looking for like romantic love, you're meeting a romantic partner who is part of your soul tribe. You guys have been in many different relationships and past lives is something that spirit is showing me. Thank you, Divine Holy Spirit. Thank you, angels, archangels, ascended masters, ancestors, spirit guides, higher light beings. Definitely headed for some sort of breakthrough in your life. You're about to receive like this is like something that you wouldn't expect. This is like this is faded as well. Okay, faded, shocking breakthroughs, epiphanies. Okay, we this card right here, the epiphany card. This epiphany card represents breakthrough, and it even has breakthrough typed up on this card. Okay, and so um, we've got breakthrough right here. So there is like some sort of sudden um, breakthrough. It feels very sudden. It feels like, whoa, like, like, like a, but very positive, exciting. It's like receiving um, an answer. It's like something being resolved. Some sort of message, email, some sort of communication.
Sorry, I had something on my card. They are my babies. Thank you, angels, spirits, spirit guides, higher light beings. We got romance that tried to flip out. What other messages do you have for the collective? All right. Uh, I'm only going to take cards that actually jump out or that I pull. Thank you, spirit. But that was a card of action. That That's about sp spirit saying, like, take action now. Don't just wait on life to happen to you but understand that you don't need to stress out either as you take action knowing that uh, you have to still do your part and the universe will do its part and that your spirit team is also um uh, behind you you know that you do have those powerful forces behind you okay and we have secrecy okay there's a situation or a person that's not what it appears to be but you will so slowly start to uncover things that have been kept secret pay attention um pay close attention to your surroundings um and so we did see here that there's more to know than what you currently know so there is some hidden information all right and we will like um do a reading on what's uh being kept from you we'll look at like any kind of hidden uh secrets to see like what that is for some of you though this is a person that um has not revealed to you how they truly feel about you okay um others of you this is um this could be regarding work because it's card number 62 which reduces to eight the eight of pentacles really makes me feel like something at work something that you've been working on uh maybe a co-worker things like that others of you it it literally could be anything so really pay attention to people things where you get like those off feelings pay attention to red flags um, and then we've got learning. You are being led down the path of unlearning and relearning to make smarter decisions as you navigate uncharted ground ahead. Trade knowing for curiosity. Okay, so this is also card number 35, which equals an eight. So you got 88. Also, this courage card, um, this change in courage card, it also represents like eight of wands energy. Um, and it even says eight of wands on the very bottom of the card. It's typed up real small right there. So you got eight, eight, eight on the ground. So eights could be very important to you guys. Let go of any kind of regret, any kind of missed opportunities, worries. Spirit is telling you all is not lost. Keep going. Look, it even says, look, the best is yet to come. And that's literally what I told you guys I was hearing. The best is yet to come. And that's card uh, 72, which reduces to a nine. So it's like you're almost to fulfillment here. Also, we got another card, 63, which is a nine. So you got 888, 99, card number 11 here. That's one, one. Um, and so with this purpose, it's like... Um, you are sorry there will be an urgent invitation to live your soul's journey receiving guidance guiding messages to keep you on purpose and answering the call to keep you on purpose and answer the calling so that you can live and contribute soulfully this i feel like yeah this is like there's some sort of um there are messages that you're receiving from spirit you know signs symbols synchronicities repeating numbers things like that um that you are receiving from spirit that's guiding you others of you though um as well as um could be also receiving like some sort of an actual invitation or like an an offer or an opportunity that is uh guiding you to your soul's purpose and um i just hear we need to do one more one last card please spirit and look stability which things are going to start to stable out for you you're going through some powerful changes okay but you are headed towards stability whether this is mentally emotionally financially spiritually all of the above romantically whatever this is for you so sorry excuse me you are headed towards greatness also want to point out too that um we got three this is card number 12 which would reduce to a three card number um and then we've this right here is memories this is uh card number 51 which reduces to a six six 
three, six. Card number 63, which reduces to a nine. Three, six, nine, okay? And Nikola Tesla said that if you understand the theory to the numbers of 369, then you understand the keys to the universe you have the keys to the universe so right now spirit is telling you that you hold the keys to the universe you always have with the memories here you always have they're telling you though you can't go back to the past all right you can't go back to the past they're telling you to continue to move forward stability is on its way you've done the work which we see that all these eights you've done the work You've been learning, you've been gaining wisdom, you've been gaining knowledge, you've been pursuing your purpose, whether whether purposely or unpurposely. See, and then it just cut off again saying that uh, I was running out of battery. Anyway, so that's my cue. I don't know if it stopped recording or not, but it's time to embrace financial stability in life. And with continued effort, you'll achieve the success you've set your eyes on. You guys are headed towards amazing stability here, profound change. So um, anyways, you guys, I'm very excited for you. I want to get off before it cuts me off. So if you would like your own personal private reading, please feel free to reach out to me. Please, um, please consider hitting the like button uh, if this resonates with you. Um, also, the more you interact with me, the more I am able to tap into your energy to be able to um, uh, see your energy better in readings because those that do interact with me, um, you'll notice in the comments that uh, most of the readings resonate with them a lot more um, because they do interact with me. And so I am able to really tap into those energies more. And that's not just the case with me. It's any and all readers. So any readers that you really like, the more you interact with them, the more they're going to be able to connect with your energy more in future readings. So this is what I have for you guys. And the divine in me bows to the divine in you. Namaste.